Brothers and sisters, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it is Monday the 20th of June and the time is 2.30 p.m. And this is the month of Sivan in the Hebrew calendar. It is the third month. We are reaching a new season and an, um, um, the Lord is revealing great and mighty things upon the earth. The earth is, uh, is receiving a judgment from heaven. And the, because of sin, heaven has to fight back, has to react. And what we're seeing, the cataclysms upon the earth, floods, hailstorms, heat, judge, these are all judgments from heaven. Okay? So the third month is a very, very special month. It is, I, I'm going to be reading, it is a month of arrival. It is a month of attraction and gathering. It is a month of Gathering the offerings, the third month, Sivan. It is a month of reversing evil decrees. It is a month of dethroning evil, uh, evil and proud powers upon the earth. Hallelujah. I'm going to be bringing you scriptures that will be revealing all this. And the, the third month is the month of, of arrival. This is the first one, right? So we're going to be going into uh, Genesis 1. Again, <laughs> verse 9. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. Right? So now we know. And God called the dry land earth, and gathering together of the waters he called seas, and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit. After its kind, whose seed is upon itself, upon the earth, and it was so. And the evening and the morning was the third day. So we are in the third month, the month called Sivan. Right? And the next uh, verses is uh, Exodus 19. Exodus 19. In the third month, Sivan. When the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came into the wilderness of Sinai. For they departed from Rephidim and were come to this desert of Sinai and had pitched in the wilderness. And there Israel camped before the mount. And, Mo, um, and the, verse 9, And the Lord said unto Moses, Lo, I come down unto thee in a thick cloud that people may hear when I speak with thee and believe thee forever. And Moses told the words of the people unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes and be ready against the third day. For the third day the Lord will come down in the sight of people upon the Mount Sinai. The arrival, the third month is for the arrival. Hallelujah. Right? Uh, we are going into the third, the third month. It's for attraction and gathering together, like uh, uh, Genesis one, gathering together of the seas and the land, gathering to get on the third day when God created the third day, gathering together of the seas of the land, and now He's gathering the people in Second Chronicles chapter fifteen. And he gathered all Judah and Benjamin and the strangers with them out of Ephraim and Manasseh and out of Simeon. For they fell to him out of Israel in abundance when they saw that the Lord his God was with him. So they gathered together themselves together at Jerusalem in the third month Sivan in the 15th year of the reign Asa. And they offered unto him the Lord the same Time of the spoil which they had brought, seven hundred oxen and seven thousand sheep, and they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul. Right now, you, I'm, I'm not. I, I just want to bring this to your attention. In Kansas, Kansas, yes, the last few days, so three days ago, ten thousand cattle were found dead. The evil pharaohs are saying, the elites are saying, that it was heat exhaustion. But normally when it's heat exhaustion, a few animals would die. But 10,000 sounds, the Lord has revealed this is very ominous. 
he said that this is a it is a mockery of this second chronicles burnt off sin offerings jesus was that sin offering the final sacrifice lamb no more sacrifices will be acceptable to god today he was the final sacrifice the sacrificial lamb for our sin no sin offering any sin offering that is made today any burnt offering it is to the devil that shop the lord closed 90 1987 years ago on the cross sealed shut it is finished he said no more sin offerings now today there was 10000 cattle now that is the devil that is a offering to the devil it is an experiment and it's a foreshadow of things to come we trying to eradicate a uh, 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 bring a uh, highlight poverty and highlight hunger because now what happens that dead cattle lie there and it's going to bring sin uh, uh, going to bring sickness and there's all kinds of disease because the cattle is lying in the heat decomposing right okay second chronicles verse 31 Chapter the Second Chronicles thirty one verse six. And concerning the children of Israel and Judah, in the cities of Jerusalem, of they all brought the tithing of oxen and sheep, and tithed the holy things which were consecrated unto the Lord, and laid them heaps. In the third month they began to lay the foundation of heaps, and finished them in the seventh month, which is Tishrei. Right, and when Ezekiah and the princes came and saw the heaps, they blessed the Lord God of Israel. And then Ezekiah questioned the priests and the Levites concerning the heaps, and Ezra, the chief priest of the house of Zadok, answered him. Then Ezekiah commanded to prepare chambers in the house of the Lord, and they prepared and brought in the offerings and the tithes and dedicated the things faithfully. Right. Now this is what's happening today, brothers and sisters. Which is happening today? The gathering of the offerings, that that um, the cattle, the gathering of the offer offerings. The third month is for reversing the evil decree number four. We just finished number three. I'll list them in the description. We are busy with number four, and we are going to Esther, the longest verse in the Bible. It's the eight verse nine. I don't think I can read everyone. Then the king's scribes called at the time in the third month. That is the the third month. That is a month. Seven on the twenty third day thereof. It is tomorrow, and and the day after Wednesday is this verse that the Lord showed me what is happening in the earth. We can reverse this decree. We pray, and it was written according to Mordecai. And to the lieutenants and deputies and rulers of the provinces which are from India unto Ethiopia, hundred and twenty-seven provinces, and to every province according to the writing, and to every people after their language, and the Jews after their writing according to their language. Right. I cannot go up to. I uh, wanted to read verse eleven, but I cannot. Ezekiel thirty-one, and it came to pass in the eleventh year. We are bringing down. Dethroning the evil, proud powers, and it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the third month, in the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, "Son of man, speak unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and to his multitude, whom art like unto greatness, to whom, verse eighteen, to whom art thou thus like in the greatness and in his greatness among the trees of Eden?" Yet shall thou be brought down on the tree with the trees of Eden unto the nether parts of the earth. Thou shalt lie in the midst of the uncircumcised with them that be slain by the sword. This is Pharaoh, Pharaoh, and all his multitude saith the Lord God of Israel. Hallelujah. So we're going to be going through and reading. So the first is the arrival number one, the gathering of the people number two. Number three is the gathering of the offerings. Number four is uh, reverse, reversing the evil decree, and number five 